Okay, go. Taping me now. You're taping me now. Yeah. It's bloody lovely, isn't it? Okay, so we're uh, going to have a look at a Chemigem system today. So we'll make a video of it. Um, Chemigem systems are basically the same as roller chems. The only difference is instead of having the little tube that sucks up and sucks up, uh, the basically peristaltic tube that's called, um, it's got a relay system. So there's a little relay inside there. We'll open it up and have a look at that. It just, when needed, the relay relay opens up and then the tube goes to a suction point at the front of the pump so there's negative suction in here and then the chemical goes through the pump and up and back through the pool so the probes that they use are very similar still works on ORP um, nothing else different there the tube still the feed tube still need to be replaced every 12 months and we'll check on the inside of here and we'll, the first port of call is we'll check the uh, the number, the value of the suction side of the pump to make sure it's above 20. At this pool here, what we've done in the past uh, is we've put a uh, valve in place and slightly closed it to create more suction through through here. It wasn't getting enough uh, negative pressure through here, so. The chemical wasn't flowing through and the pool was having struggles so um, all you do here basically is pull that off put that one on sitting at zero now we'll, we'll run it so it's minimum 20 of course so that's pretty spot on. So I'll just show, demonstrate if I open that up. Uh, because this is good 50 mil plumbing in the front there, there's good flow and there's not a lot of negative pressure there for the front of this pump. So we actually had to make the pump work a bit harder to get better suction through there. Put it back there. So that means that there's good suction through there. Okay. So, what we're going to do is um, change all the feed lines out and we'll come back and we'll show you what this looks like on the inside. Okay, so I've just taken the solenoid valves off the wall, that's where they are. This is the signal cable that comes from the box. And we're just going to open this, this bottom panel up here. This is where the, uh, the chlorine feeds in through this little bottom and then through the common feed line back into the suction point. And that's the acid. So when I get this open then we'll just have a look at the inside. Okay, we've taken all the screws out now. This comes off like so. And then on the underside here is the little uh, seals. That's a little rubber seals and the pin. And we're just inspecting here just to make sure they're all in good nick. That one there actually does need to be replaced. So see how that's all rusty and it wasn't it wasn't sort of floating up and down freely. So uh, the chlorine there is not in not happy needs to be done. If you do one you do both. So we will have to come back and replace those ones. So that's uh, there's a little spring inside there as well. That spring's all rusty there too, so basically the way it works is the spring the spring uh, pushes it out into the closed position all the time pushes it out into closed position when the relay is energized in behind here this big bit of metal sucks it open pulls it open 
and then when it turns off the spring pushes it back in in and closes off the gaps again that's the way it works so this one definitely needs to be replaced so it's good that we found that today just to show you what it looks like it should float it should float freely back and forth but that one just doesn't push in and out this one does and so that one just sits there this one actually moves in and out quite nicely so that's a really happy that we found that problem today because it's demonstrated to you what they should look like and what happens when they don't work properly okay to a trick that I learned from Aaron to check whether the relays are firing is if you pull the pump out of the out of the bottom so you're not going to fire the pump up um, you can then go to your chemi gem here and you can tell it to manual feed and you should hear it click hang on let me put it on So you just, we just heard the click, and we'll try the ORP side or the chlorine side, and it's just clicked as well. So that's telling us that the relays uh, are trying to click in. Now you can't hear that click when the pump's running, so that's a reason for pulling the pump out of the bottom, just making sure that you got you can hear it. Another trick. 